Shalom, my name is Pastor KT once again with our weekly devotional topic. This time round, Waiting Upon God. And there's a song that rings in my ears. And I love this song that is found in the book of Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. I'm not a great singer, but I can read the verse. It says, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. This topic will affect each one of us, everybody. Because there are so many situations that we hope for. So many situations that we would like, you know, to change. But do they change very fast? We got no choice. We have to do two things. Pray and wait. There are so many examples of people who waited and they got tremendous blessings. The Bible is full of examples and scriptures and teaching about waiting upon the Lord. I will read one more verse only. In the book of Psalms 27, verse 14. I love this verse too. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. And he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. There's sometimes when you feel weak because you've been waiting for something for so long. But our Heavenly Father is urging us to wait upon him and he will strengthen us. Don't lose hope. Keep waiting. Keep waiting. We have great examples of Abraham. He waited and he got a child. He was blessed for many, many years. He kept on moving up and down. Though he was told, go unto a place that I will show you. Before he reached the promised land, he passed through so many places and he was tried. But he waited upon the Lord and he was blessed. We have Joseph in prison. He stayed there. He was steadfast in, way, in, in faith. He waited until our Heavenly Father got him out of prison. He never despaired. He waited upon the Lord. We have Hannah who went to the temple and kept praying. She was crying and she was asking the Lord, Remember your servant. And that is what happened. So what about yourself? You got no choice too. You have enough examples. You have enough teachings. Even you too, you will wait. Shalom and God bless you.